Good day. On December 19, on the sidelines of the Ukrainian authorities, the following rumors, gossip, insiders and opinions were discussed. Layout. Many wonder why the sirens are not turned on when kamikaze drones are flying. As the source explains, in order to create an illusion in society that there are no raids, no damage, no losses. When no one knows anything, it is easy to form the required reality. As in a popular expression, the eyes do not see, the heart does not hurt. It should be understood that UAVs fly not only at energy infrastructure facilities, but also at warehouses, hangars, etc. many of which are found outside the cities. Silence policy, the best strategy of the office of the president. Layout. Gossip. The air defense of Ukraine is able to intercept kamikaze drones, but there is a fact of incommensurability of costs. One geranium-2 costs 10 times cheaper than one air defense missile. If even two to three UAVs reach the target and cause damage to the energy system of Ukraine, then it immediately pays for about 50 to 80 such kamikazes. Moreover, everyone knows that they are now massively assembled in Russia, and they are also expanding the personnel for control pilots of UAV systems. Also, the UAVs circling all over the country, forcing the aircraft to rise into the air, so as not to be destroyed. Backstage Rumors there were rumors on the sidelines that the Ukrainian crisis was losing its audience and ratings. Interest is falling to what is happening in the Ukrainian crisis. Most of the positive articles about Ukraine in the Western press are paid for by the office lobby. The world is tired of Ukraine, such a message can often be heard on the sidelines. The Western press comes out with bright headlines that financial and military assistance to Ukraine will slow down. The situation for Bankova develops negatively. Gossip the source reports that yesterday's World Championship final was a place of global negotiations and a lot of bargaining. Usually VIP persons, in politics and business, use such events for important and necessary meetings in order to grind important topics. The Ukrainian crisis figured in yesterday's conversations, but more like a case that needs to be completed and start making money. From the Russian Federation was Medvedev, who had many behind-the-scenes meetings with various international political and business personalities. From Ukraine there were not public intermediaries. Perhaps in years we will find out what exactly happened in Qatar behind the scenes and football tinsel yesterday. Perhaps it will go down in history as the Qatari conspiracy or Qatari redistribution or something else. Or maybe we will never know, but the fact of bidding and negotiations was 100%. Opinion. Radar hunting. It seems very likely that during the last missile attack, the Russian aerospace forces were actively hunting for the Ukrainian air defense radar. The AWACS plane from the airspace of Belarus monitored Ukraine in search of active radars, and fighters in the air carried anti-radar missiles. Ukrainian air defense worked in the mode of greatest destruction at the beginning of the conflict, when the radars were turned on at the very last moment for a short time of hitting an air target. It looks like the Russian aerospace forces have adapted to this model of work and figured out how to get the radar even in this version. It turns out that the air defense has a choice, let the missiles pass by or endanger the installations. Air defense suppression is needed to control the air, without which offensive operations are impossible, and radar stations are the most complex and currently the most poorly replenished parts of the air defense system for Ukraine. Inside. The source said that Zaluzny was forced to send reserves to the Bukmatovsky meat grinder in order to keep the city as long as possible. The general staff sends territorial defense and border guards there to saturate the city with infantry and prevent the Wagnerites from occupying empty quarters. The problem for the armed forces of Ukraine is that Bakhmut is raised to the ground by artillery fire, and in Ukraine the shell hunger and artillery are practically silent. Inside. The source said that Ukraine expects a strong economic downturn next year, due to constant attacks on critical infrastructure. A meeting was held at Bankovaya where various scenarios were discussed, the most pessimistic of which is that Ukraine will be left without industry at all, and electricity will be provided for two to three hours a day. Backstage Rumors on the sidelines, everyone is sure that Russia is preparing an offensive for 2023. This leads to a certain panic within the elite. Since there is no understanding whether the West will give so many weapons to hold back the onslaught. Therefore, the government again convinces people to stay on the ground so that it delays the Russians, as it was in February of this year at the beginning of the war. Layout. Europe is most interested in repaying the Ukrainian crisis, everyone knows and understands. Yes, EU leaders are unhappy with Zelensky and his constant demands for money, weapons, sanctions, humanitarian aid and so on. But they cannot do anything, Washington decides, which orchestrates this crisis in a way that is beneficial to it, when it is necessary to add fuel to the fire, when it is necessary to slow down.
until the financial and industrial sector of the EU is weakened by at least 70%, until the entire economic system of the EU gets deeper into loans and dependence on the United States, the Ukrainian crisis will continue. The US is on its own. All experts understand that when they reach their goals, they will lose the game, exchanging it for a rollback, as was the case in Afghanistan. Although Zelensky is sure that he is a player in the party, and not a piece on the board. We are watching. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Valery Zaluzny appealed to Zelensky to sign a bill adopted by Parliament on toughening the responsibility of the military for desertion. Gossip spread that Zaluzny's statement was perceived by many as preparations for increased mobilization. This is especially true at the time of the New Year holidays, when people will walk more, and the military commissars will hand them agendas. The draft law on desertion was postponed for about a year, but the situation at the front again requires toughness, and Zaluzny took the brunt today demanding that the law not be repealed. Entire units of the armed forces of Ukraine refused to go to the Bukmatovskaya meat grinder, which is why the bill needs to be introduced now in order to keep the situation. See you soon.